What's up, guys? Um, hope everyone's doing well. I'm Ryan. I've been hacking things my whole life, and I am super excited about using Character Animator. This video is about hacking your character. I have a series of videos that are coming up, and a couple of that I've done on Character Animator, how to get a character up extremely fast, whether or not you want to do it for a you know, a fun YouTube show, or if you have some educational content, I'm showing you how to do that. But today's video is specifically how to, or the hack is how to get a moving background um, with your walking character. Here I have um, the, uh, my character, I'm going to select my character in the actual record scene. And as I walk, uh, my character is kind of walking in place, and I'll show you that in a second how we're going to get the background to move. I'm going to select all of my different objects, and now I'm going to hit the arrow key, and you can see that I have my background moving, and I have a foreground that's moving a little bit slower, um, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So my foregrounds are moving faster than my background, and it creates that parallax um, effect. So let me show you quickly how I did that, and uh, you can hack it for yourself. So throwing out, going over to Photoshop real quickly here, if you want to get up and um, running really fast, um, this is my final Photoshop character that I hacked from Dave from the Adobe Character Animator team's um, character walker. This little dude, you basically copy and paste all of your different objects on him and then throw them back in your scenes. So that file's uh, link down below and thank you Dave for all your fantastic videos and Adobe uh, Character Animator for making the whole team making such a great product. Okay, enough of that. All right going back over to um, Photoshop uh, This is my background scene that I created um, It's a Photoshop file. You don't need to export as anything else. It's super huge my size is 6,000 wide by 1080 so you just need a big, wide Photoshop file, man. It'll work. Okay, and so now the foreground scene here is exactly the same size. So I put those inside of my project folder. And I, when, once I got over to my scene, I created a new scene file. Uh, no, scene, new scene, right? I created that. Okay, that be, that then I dragged in all of my objects. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to scene, new scene. Um, so yeah, scene three is good because I have two scenes already. So I'm going to double click that. So even though I created it, still let me double click it. So now I'm going to drag in all my objects. I'm going to drag in my puppet, which is uh, Ryan Walker. And I'm going to zoom back to 25%. Looks like he's a little big. So over on the right, I'm going to go over to the prop transform properties. And I am going to scale them down some. Well, that's scaling. That's not scaling. That's moving. So I'm going to scale them down. And then I'm going to bring him down in the Y. And that looks good there. So now I'm going to go in and just zoom back into this character. And now I'm going to drag in the foreground above him. And I'm going to drag in the background um, behind him. So now there is the um, uh, everything there. I can select all three to get them all working. So now I can drag my arms around, and then my character moves back and forth, but the scene does not move. Let's get the scene to move. So if I go double click in my foreground um, for foreground uh, layer, I need to um, select the foreground um, at the top. So I'm, I'm in my actual foreground puppet, okay? I'm going to select it at the very top, above where it says name, all the way to the top. And then over here to the right, um, where it says behaviors, go ahead and hit the plus and add a walker behavior. Okay? So once you add the walk behavior, the two things that you want to change is, first of all, you want a zero strength. You don't want the character to buy the, the actual background to move up and down you only want it to move x and y and then under the body speed instead of making it 100 percent or zero make it negative 50. okay that's going to make it move um, faster um, than uh, 
moved. It's going to make it move different than it, the actual character is going to move, but it's not going to move. Um, it's going to move actually move a little bit faster than the background. And then the other thing you want to do is under the start where it says probably says immediately, go ahead and put use with the left and the right arrow keys. Okay. So, and then the most important thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you when you select the select it up here at the top that you label it as hip. Okay. So, so you see right over here how I have this selected. So if this wasn't selected, I would select hip. So it has to say hip in the center, okay? So now I'm going to go over to the background of the shop that automatically saves. And you can see here that I have it called hip. I have a um, here that I called hip up here at the top. I don't believe I need this. I'm not sure why I put that there. I'm just naming the root hip. And then I have my... Um, walk and you can see over here that I have it the body speed is negative 25 not moving as fast as my foreground and zero is the strength because I want it not to bob up and down and then I have use uh, with left and right arrow keys okay so the steps here are you select your Photoshop that you imported file import once it's in there you select your object so you're looking at it inside of character animator at the very top of it it considers it a puppet now at the very top of it go ahead and select it and hit the plus on the right hand side of behaviors add a walk to it then go ahead and with start say start with left and right arrow keys to change the body speed to a percentage you can actually go back and edit that and then the strength to zero and now um, the next key is I'm going to be going back over to my scene and I have everything here. I One of the tips is, is that your character is going to return back to the pose that you gave it. So I always want it to return with its arms to the side, maybe like this. Okay, so I always want my character to return there. I need to select in the timeline scene here at the bottom, I need to select all three to be able to control all three. And now I'm going to move my arms back. And now by hitting the right and the left arrow keys, I can move through my actual scene. You can see that the foreground is moving um, a, a, just a little bit faster, but not as fast as the um, character is. So I'm moving back and forth. So you could just have fun with um, this. And I think that the render will be a lot smoother than this. But I do have a video that I'm putting out about how to get a render done really fast for a YouTube video. So stay tuned for that. So that's basically it. You want to be able to, um, the things that you, I, I don't, um, that I forgot, is you want to be able to select all of your objects in the timeline to be able to control them or you won't move the background you will under the when you import your your foreground and your background objects you want to add a walk behavior to it and then change the settings on the right and make sure that you call you add this hip to um, this just select the object and select hip over here to the right so, so once you select the foreground um, you want to select it and then choose your hip and then it sees it actually as a walking character you're just not going to bounce up and down so um, going back over to my scene everything's looking good you can see that when I move back and forth I always return back to this one pose that I had so that's it I hope that uh, you enjoy having your character walk and your backgrounds move I hope to see all your cool characters soon so please leave a um, comment or link below if uh, you have a video that you've worked on and again thank you Dave and the Adobe character animator t team for creating such an awesome content awesome application Dave's uh, YouTube channel is linked below. Have a great day. See you guys later.